Hello and good morning. So for the virtual lab session today, I will show you how to create a mobile web application easily with Material Design Lite. Material Design Lite is a framework created by Google in order to help mobile developer to deploy mobile web application on the internet using Material Design Lite team, which is compliant with Android design guideline. So to download the required template and material, you can go to this website. But first and foremost, I'm going to show you the final result of what we are going to do for today. So today, we are going to build a simple mobile web application uh, just like this. Right? It has a navigation drawer, have menu, and several uh, links which uh, mimics the operation of a mobile web application. So uh, without further ado, I'm going to show you how to create uh, such website, a beautiful mobile web application for you to use. So to get started, we go to the GetMDL website. So GetMDLwebsite.io and then you will be forwarded to Material Design Lite official website. So click on getting started and then look at the hosted solution. Copy this and then paste it on your Notepad++. So open up your Notepad++ and create a simple HTML document which is uh, like this. And then save it in htdocs uh, folder. The name the htdoc folder as mdl uh, signify for material design light then save it as index.html oops okay index.html so i have a little bit of typo over here all right okay so this is to activate the uh, notepad plus plus syntax highlighting and then click hit and then click title okay bus ticket application okay and then uh, you close uh, the hit and then you create a rudimentary html body and then close it uh, with uh, the html tag so this is the simple uh, html document so paste the link that you have copied from the Material Design Lite website just now. So paste this link. Right. And then we are not finished yet. Okay. Go to the components. And then select layout. Okay. Go to layout. And then uh, you will be presented uh, uh, with different navigation layout. Okay, choose this one. Okay, choose this one. This is the most similar to the application that we wish to create. And then copy the layout given by the website. And then paste it inside the body. Right, paste it inside the body. Right, we should uh, settle it and then save. Next, start your Zen web server. Okay, this ensure that the Zen web server has already been started. Then go to your web browser. Okay, you can type your localhost slash mdl because uh, this is the folder that we uh, stored. Then your uh, mobile web application uh, is almost finished. So, right, it's almost finished. You can uh, press F12. Okay, you can press F12 and then simulate it. Okay, however, this is not quite uh, up to the specification because the interface is uh, very tiny, okay, very small if you open it in your mobile web browser. So, to remedy this, you need to add one meta tag. So if you read on the internet, you will probably came across what we call it as a viewport meta tag. So in order to add the viewport meta tag, you have to 
write in meta and then type in name okay viewport right and then uh, put in here content and then equals to with th with okay device with and then uh, comma initial scale 1.0 and then you close the meta tag then go back to your um, emulator inside uh, chrome and then press f5 then you will be presented with a much more comfortable uh, user interface so we are already half finished right with the mobile application a simple mobile application you can simulate uh, other uh, devices too and then you can also enlarge okay, the user interface so you almost finish creating a professional looking uh, mobile web application okay next you can uh, perform some customization so to perform some customization you look inside the command over here so you can change the title so you can change the title as pass ticket okay and then probably here you can go uh, writing a uh, menu over here right menu okay this is a layout title as menu then this one you can write in as okay book a ticket okay and then okay, view ticket okay view ticket or list ticket up to you okay, you can update as a profile and then here is about right and then to make it uh, easier you can copy the all the link list and then paste it over here right then you refresh back the uh, emulator and then you will be presented with a complete uh, mobile web application right okay this is workable okay just for now and then you notice that the example has a different color scheme so you can change also change the color scheme by going to the material design light website so go back to the material design light website and then you click on customize okay this would allow you to change the color so you can change the color this is the default color you can change it to whatever color that you like okay just like this one okay the brown or oh, you want to change it in a green color so green color like this so up to you so i'm trying to change it into a brown color okay brown color like this right and then copy okay copy this line and then you replace it with this line okay uh, okay indigo pink okay this represents the color indigo pink and then you paste it okay material brown deep purple okay, save and then the web application will change its color right according to your specification so uh that's all for today so today i've already shown you how to create a simple mobile web application professionally using material design light just by using your chrome browser and notepad plus plus so without involving android studio or other expensive ide so i'm ending this lab session but before that i'm going to ask you to go to this website as a showcase to several mobile web applications that are built using material design line so you go here uh, okay http tp.ifta.cc and then uh, mobile shape uh, website okay try and open it using your own mobile phone okay open this using your own mobile phone okay mobile phone right uh, so open this using your own phone okay do not open this using chrome okay try to open this using your own mobile phone because i want you to get the feeling on how or how the quality of this uh, mobile web application can map with native application so that's all. Be seeing you back uh, in the next segment.